Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. And on tap tonight, it's the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. At this point, Mike, how much do you know about your team as a coaching staff? Uh, how many tweaks can be made in what you've got in front of you? Most coaches know what their fate is going to be at this point. Are we contenders? Can we make the playoffs? They know what needs to happen for these goals to be obtained. So it's the Mavericks now, following the miss by Michael Jordan. Pass to Donaldson. Dishes it to Harper. Passes to Black, just fine on the clock. That falls, nice feed that time from Harper. Blackman's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the man. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Pass to Paxson, back to Pippen. Tries again, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, Pippen gets the bucket and is going to shoot the and one. Excellent concentration there. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Now the Mavericks with it. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And you know, when talking about that last game, they were relentless. They never let up. Kept attacking on offense. And because of this, they overwhelmed the opposition and shot a very high percentage. Yeah, and you got to highlight how dialed in the coaches' staff was. They got the most out of their players on offense. This is why so many love watching Jordan play. Such an explosive dunker. Here's Harper. Boy, he was something else against San Antonio. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. And he's good on the second. The Bulls have gone two for four from the field so far today. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. And so just over a minute and a half played. Outside for Pippen. Just four to shoot. Picked by Cartwright. 17-foot shot on the way. And that one hits back iron. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team foul. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. McCray passes to Donaldson. Dallas moving the ball around. Step back shot. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Grant kicks to Jordan. Shot clock at six. And there's the pass to Pippen. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Count it. He is money from there. Jordan is so comfortable operating from mid-range. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Pass to McCray. Pass to Black. Wide a screen on Jordan. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. He thought that one was going down as soon as it left his hands. Well, with good reason. That was a great look. Just bad luck it didn't go down. Back to Paxson. Pick by Cartwright. Pass to Grant. Harper with the steal. 
to the inside. McCray, and that one is hammered home. This locker room loves having a hawk on their side. Derek is always looking to pass. Outside Jordan. Fades back. The shot is good off the backboard. Jordan's got six points. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. The pass to McCray. Kicks to Harper. Six to shoot. Pass to McCray. Here's Blackman. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Here's Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. Jordan doing a nice job, leaking out slyly. Excellent in transition. Dallas calls timeout. timeout Victory eluded timeout. them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. I think they were undone by a cold night shooting the ball, particularly from long range. Some nights are like that. You can't seem to throw the ball in the ocean. You chuck that game in the waste bin and move on. with an almost entirely new group. Here. Purdue, he's checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Grant. Levingson's checked in for Pippen. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. Here's Williams. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Here's Weaver with the drive. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. The assertiveness on the attack. Weaver just ripping through the defense and finishing well. Jordan kicks to Williams. It's Jordan on the wing. Defended by Lever. Fader on the way, and the Bulls tack on two more. The jump shot of Jordan is poetry in motion. It's fun watching him take and make Jays. Lever, the pass to Davis, and here's Smith. Outside Williams. Outside for Davis. Shot clock at three. On D. Purdue with the rebound. Well, you know, he felt like he was in rhythm, but that still is a very long shot attempt. And you love the confidence, but maybe come in a bit for the next one. Now here's Jordan. Playing Houston, he was nearly unstoppable. Over Davis. Purdue with a screen on Lever. And it's Armstrong missing. <laughs> First personal foul. Third team foul. Mavericks trail by five. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Outside, Davis. High post try. And it's Chicago with the rebound. The defense willing to concede the mid-range. As the lesser of evils, it paid off there. Knocked away. And stolen by Jordan. 136 left in the first quarter of the game. Williams a screen on Lever from 15 feet away. Rebound by Smith. And so it's Davis He'll bring the ball up for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by five. He feeds it to Williams. Lever against Jordan. Six on the shot clock. And that one goes long. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? But he's incredible defensively as well. He works hard at that end, and that's rare for a star. 
Both shots good from the strike. And he's been locked in from the line, proving he's someone that you don't want to foul. Lieber outside. Back to Davis. Outside Lever. Davis surveying the floor. Lever finds Davis. They could use a bucket. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Bulls leading by seven. And slam dunk by Jordan. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points, playing with a lot of determination and grit, and insisting on being aggressive looking for his shots. Here's McCray. Smith with a screen on Jordan. They get it again. Smith kicks to Lever. Outside, Davis from past the arc. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? The defense playing with great intensity, coming up big for this squad. They put the pressure on early in this game. Mavericks trail by nine. Is it to Harper? Five to shoot. Wide a screen on Armstrong. Harper, no good. The Bulls leading by nine. It's Pippen with a drive. Outside Williams. Pass to Baxson. Williams, a screen on Davis. Hexen, and stolen by White. And here is Harper. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. White is screen. Armstrong against Harper. And the pass to Black. And here's Davis for three. It's good from long range. Davis has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Blackman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. What on Pippen? Look, Blackman is a fantastic free throw shooter. You need to foul somebody else. And he knocks down the first one. And Mike, you look at the conferences and how they're divided up. The East looks right now as powerful as ever with the Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons. The East has several contenders. The Lakers seem to be slowing down a little bit. You wonder if the West will ever catch up in terms of overall power. Now, here's Pippen. Boy, that win against the Rockets. He's another guy who really showed up to play. Grant binds Pippen. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. Up and in on the lane. Pippen's got five now. Well, I tell you, Pippen's length helps him close to the rim. Uses that length to score through contact. Now, here's Harper. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Black for the three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Bulls leading by six. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Personal foul. Pippen showing you nice agility that time, working around tough defense, able to play through that contact. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. On the free throw, no good. The Mavericks have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Harper. That's in there. Davis with the assist. 
Harper's got his first two points. On the other side of a nice pass, Harper knows what to do once he gets it. Pippen outside. To the left wing. For three, Paxson. He can't get it to go. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Three-pointer. James Thomas. First personal foul. First team foul. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Now Armstrong. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. And the dunk by Grant. Look out. Grant attacking the rim like there's nothing the defense can do about it. Here's Blackman. Trailing here by eight. Outside Harper. Passes it to Donaldson. Armstrong against Harper. Just five to shoot. Outside, Davis. Here's Blackman. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, and he'll shoot two free throws. This team leans on Blackman to help shoulder the load and score the rock. He's a big part of this offense. The Mavericks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That one is off. Mavericks making a switch here. McCray's checked in. Cartwright's checked in for Chicago. Livingston comes in for Pippen. Good on the second free throw. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Armstrong with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. For three, Paxson. It's rebounded by Donaldson. Sometimes you do things right on offense, and the shots just don't fall. Outside, Harper. Pass to Blackman. Rocket six. That three off the mark. A knockdown shooter with tremendous confidence. Just couldn't get that one to fall. Yeah, I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. You could tell the moment the pass left his hands that he knew he had slipped up. Smith checked in for Dallas. Lever comes in for Derek Harper. Now here's Lever. He's coming off a 10-point game against San Antonio. Blackman, the pass to Donaldson. He gets it in there. Donaldson's got his first two points of the night. Saw that play developing and hit him in stride towards the cup. Jackson against Lieber. Now the pass to Carp. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. An effective point. Paxson moving the ball with conviction. Mavericks trail by seven. Lieber outside. Pass to Black. Smith with a screen on Armstrong. Here's Blackman. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Big effort gets the big reward. Simply outplaying the defense. Here is Armstrong. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Pick by Cartwright. And here's Armstrong. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Williams, he's checked in for Donaldson. Chicago also making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Grant. Jordan comes in for Armstrong. And Hodges subbed in for Paxson. Outside, Williams. Passes it to Blackman. Lever outside. Smith with a screen on Hodges. Here's Lever. And that one is off. Excellent D there from Williams. The Bulls leading by five. And Hodges kicks to Jordan. Pick by Cartwright. Shoots. And the Bulls tack on two more. Fantastic work in the screen and roll. Jordan keeping things simple and taking what he sees. Now here's Lever. 
And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Here's Jordan. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Jordan's got the lead up to nine now for Chicago. For Dallas, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. It's Lever on the wing. He's guarded by Hodges. Blackman from 13 feet. It goes down. Blackman's got 10 points. The D can't allow Blackman to get deep inside because he knows what to do when he gets there. Outside, Jordan. Pick by Cartwright. He's feeling it. Jordan can't get it to go. Average trail by seven. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Here's Williams. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one. Missed it. And has no one to blame but himself. And the team first attitude of Cartwright, wanting to get it to his open guys. And so it's Lever who brings up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Here's Blackman, guarded by Jordan. Chicago. Davis is checked in for the Mavericks. Purdue is checked in for Chicago. Substitution on the court. Forty-one seconds left now here in the second. Davis kicks to Williams. Five on the clock. Lever passes to Smith. Down low. And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. Wolves making a switch here. Stiffens checked in. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the first half. Lever against Jordan. Fifteen seconds left in the first half of basketball. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. Pass to Williams. There's Lever with the three. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Solid contest from Jordan there. Making his presence felt and altering the shot as a result. And so it's Chicago. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back right after this. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. He was looking to get into the paint, and boy, did he ever. I like how he didn't settle. He attacked. Mavericks trail by nine. Now Harper, the pass to McCray. Pass to Donaldson. Knocks down the 10-footer. Donaldson's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Dallas. Jordan outside. Fades and shoots. That shot is good. He's taken 15 and made 10 from the field tonight. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay hot. And yes, it's good. Donaldson's got four points in the quarter. Take a look at how smart Harper is with the ball, making sure he's setting up his guy, not just moving it around. Pippen dishes to Jordan. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Jordan's got 24. And you know, I like Jordan's shot selection here. Has a great understanding for when to fire. Harper the pass to McCray. Passes to Black. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Stolen by Grant. 
Pippen with it. He's got seven. Pass to Cartwright. Michael Jordan on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. That one drops for him. Jordan's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bulls. And, you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the lead. And so far, this hasn't been the case. A finish and the dunk by Jordan. Look how fast Jordan acts once he sees an opening, snatching the ball and getting it up the court. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Harper. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Here's McCray, guarded by Pippen. Shot clock at six. Dallas, no good that time either. The Bulls leading by 13. In the corner, it's Jordan. Back to Pippen. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. And the Mavericks making a change here. Smith has checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Kings checked in for Cartwright. Hobson comes in for Michael Jordan. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. Now, here's Harper. There's the pass to Black. Here's McCray. To the middle. Here's Harper. And he lays it straight in. Harper's got his second bucket of the night. The concentration and body control from Harper. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Grant at the elbow. Pippen down low. Good, and Grant gets the assist. And 11 points here for Scottie Pippen. And perhaps the coach lit a fire under them at halftime because they have owned this third quarter. And it's important for them to keep it going. Can't show any signs of slowing down. Here's McCray. Pass to Black. Inside. And Grant sends it back. One of the better defenders in this game, Grant, teeing off on that one. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Getting aggressive and creating a second chance opportunity. Exactly what coaches want to see. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Now, here's Pippen. 11 points in the game. Trying to make up some ground here, coach. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Here's Davis. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. A steal. Here's McCray. He has six. And Lever has it in the corner. Six to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. For three, Smith. Dallas, no good that time either. Chicago leading by 12. Pippen outside. Here's the three. They grab their own miss. Here's Armstrong. Grant outside. Pippen outside. And another shot. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Pippen's got six here in this quarter. 
Lever outside. Armstrong against Davis. Smith right side. All sorts of time. That's in there. Davis with the assist. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Bulls have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Chicago calls timeout. I think it's pretty clear Coach wants to change some things. How easy is that to do in a huddle? If you have an experienced team, that really helps. Here. Purdue is checked in for King. Williams comes in for Horace Grant. Levingston's checked in for Scotty Pippen. And it's Jordan in for Hobson. Jordan's shot is off. Average trail by 12. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Now here's Davis. Pass to Williams. And stolen by Jordan. Down low. And Williams throws it down. This is how you share the ball. Levingston, great pass to the open man. Dallas has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Smith sets the pick reliever to the middle. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Harper, he's checked in for Davis. He hits the second from the line. Chicago leading by 13. Armstrong dishes to Jordan. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Shoots a fader. Epic counts. Jordan's got ten points in just the second half. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Superb anticipation on that rejection. And that will allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. Forty-four seconds left in the third quarter. To the left side wing. Here's Armstrong. Here's Purdue. Excellent D there from Williams. For Dallas, they have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. That's good from Williams. Williams. Two shots. And Williams drops them both. Here is Armstrong. No points in the game yet for him. Jordan climbs in. About as competitive a guy as I've seen. Jordan finishing through the whistle. Hamilton, he's checked in for the Mavericks. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. 23 seconds left to play here in the third. And there's the drive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Crafty drive by Lever. Gets in close and then draws some contact off the defender. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Both good from the line that time. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Bulls. They're in the midst of this long six-game road trip. That will be game four. To the wing right side. Harper with the steal. Fires from deep. Hands it from downtown. Harper's got seven points. Good to see Harper knock down the triple. Trying to help space the floor. Goal. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bulls lead by 11. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter.
and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Jordan looking it over. Pass to Livingston. The kick out to Williams. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Lever. Mavericks trailed by 11. Outside Harper. The pass to Black. Now Lever, 18 feet out. And another basket for Dallas. Very comfortable in this area. Lever's got a smooth jumper. Bulls shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Shot from the top of the key. Williams passes to Jordan. Back to Williams. Deflects the pass. Shot clock at five. And they double up Jordan. To the wing on the left. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. The Mavericks shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Lever dishes to Harper. Pass to Black. To the inside. Here's Donaldson. That shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Here's Jordan. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Relentless. You make contact with Jordan, it doesn't affect him at all. And the Mavericks making a change here. McCray's checked in. They throw good, Jordan. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Blackman. Good D by Jordan. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Fires from 14. Livingston the pass to King. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Banked in off the glass. Well, I love to see King use his big body like that. Establishing himself inside, that's the way to do his work. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Chicago. Chicago making some changes. Bill Carper, he's checked in for King. Pippen comes in for Livingston. And Armstrong subbed in for Michael Jordan. Maxson against Harper. Up top, Pippen. Williams has a screen for Pippen. Second shot opportunity, and it's Williams laying it in. And the Bulls lead by 16. There's that rebounding that Scott Williams is known for. I love seeing him go after the offensive glass like that. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And this is what you love to see. Up big, no letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. This is it to Black. Shot clock at six. To the paint. And they get it. Pass to McCray. Three-pointer. Here's Donaldson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Defense takes the hit and still makes it. That takes focus, strength, and a lot of boxing. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Pippen kicks to Armstrong. Here's the three. Lock at six. Here's Williams. And it comes off the front of the rim. Average trail by 13. McCray passes to White. And White slams it in. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward. But he just never gives up. It's Pippen with a drive. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. They get it back. Driving inside. Now 
And the pass to Paxson. Pass to Armstrong. Back to Paxson. Shoots over Harper. No good off the back of the rim. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That will be foul number five on him. Grant, he's checked in for the bowl. Dallas has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And the Mavericks call time here. Totally unacceptable, inexcusable, the number of points they're allowing inside. Yeah, coach can't be happy about that. They have to show more fight down there. Chicago making some changes. Kings check in for Cartwright, and it's Jordan in for John Paxson. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, over the break, I listened to what the head coach for Dallas was getting across in the huddle. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. We don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Average trail by 11. It's tipped. And here is Jordan. Pippen dishes to Armstrong. Left side, Jordan. Over Blackman. And again, Chicago. No good. The Mavericks have gone 3 of 8 here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Jordan. Fades. Yes, that goes in. Jordan's got 38 points. Do you see why they lean on him night in and night out? Armstrong against Harper. Here's Blackman. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide-open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Boy, giving up the body to make a play right there, that's really good defense. He read that to a T. Got there early time out, time and out. braced time himself time for the hit. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Levington's checked in for Pippen. will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. It's a 13-point game. Fires, high post. Harper, no good. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he was too open or something. He really should have hit that one. Grant with a screen on Harper. Jordan, wide open. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Jordan's got 40 points. Harper kicks to McCray. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Blackman. True on the 14-footer. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. 143 left in the game. The Bulls leading by 13. Jordan outside. Passes it to Armstrong. Off target with his three. Well, some nights the shots just don't fall. Ask him. Outside Harper. Pass to Blackman. From downtown. Kept alive. Donaldson. That misses off the backboard. Chicago's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. A pretty comfortable win for them in this one. Great effort. Pays off for the Bulls. Coach Fratello, offensively, they look sharp, and they took quality shots. 
Yeah, they played for one another out there. Their selfless attitude is why their offense operated like a well-oiled machine. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Michael Jordan. Well, I like the ferocity on defense now. He was constantly putting himself in the path of steals and coming up with them, too. Buries it from three-point range. Blackman with the stop and pop. Quick trigger release. 30 seconds left in the fourth. Now Jordan. And there's the pass to Armstrong. Here's Levingston. Six on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. I like seeing Levingston go up strong inside. Earning the call as a result. At the line for the Bulls. He's off on the first. Taking two shots. And he sinks the second. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Weaver. That one wide left. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Picking up a road win, Mike, uh, pretty handily tonight. On the road, you usually take what you can get. So they should be very happy with this victory. And that about wraps it up. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan, saying thank you for tuning in tonight. So long, everyone.